Hello everyone, today I will talk about PostgreSQL cluster in our environment. Let me show the topology which I have used in our environment. As we see, we have three PostgreSQL nodes which listens in the 8008 and 5432 ports for each of them. Actually, 5432 port is a PostgreSQL port and 8008 is a Patroni API port. Patron is a Python package. I will talk about a little bit later. Let me explain topology. For each of nodes, I have used the IP address in my background configuration file standard 1.42.141 and 42 and 43. Our backend servers communicate to our PostgreSQL cluster master server via high availability load balancer, which its IP address 10.1.42. 233, which listens in the port 5000. I mean, our backend nodes communicate to this port to reach to the database. To prepare this environment with all configurations, you don't need to do anything else, just clone the repository, which I showed in the topology, and go inside needed folder and execute the command which I showed in the last line. I want to say a little bit about how proxy configuration it is a how proxy configuration which I am reading last eight lines from the configuration file as we see it is going to communicate with the Patroni API with the defined ports which I showed in my topology tool 8008 for each of PostgreSQL nodes and to get status of the master nodes master node if the master node will go down it's automatically changed status one of the slaves to the master and it will be informed via Patron API to the hub proxy. That's why our backend servers can't feel any downtime when one of the nodes will go down. Patron is an open source Python package written from the Lambda team. You can find about that from GitHub. Patronic controls all PostgreSQL cluster status uh, and to store database about the status of, of the cluster. It can use ETCT, the key pair or console key value store. In my case, I have used the ETCT key value store. And if uh, one node will go down, as I said before, Patron automatically will change the status to the master from one of the slaves. And let me show the configuration which I have used. Actually, I am reading uh, all log files from Patroni service output. Let me show system unit files which I prepared for Yetisti cluster and Patroni. It is defined in my background file configurations and uh, you, you don't need to do anything else, just execute the command which I showed in the last line of the topology and it will prepare everything for you. And it is a configuration for the Patroni tool. As we see, it's going to execute Patroni YAML file. Let me show it. Or even and as we see, it's going to use namespace DB inside of its TK value store with the scope PostgreSQL, Postgres. For each of the nodes, it's configured like as PG1 and PG2, PG3. RESTful API, IP address and port, which I showed in the topology, and it's the host where it will send and get information about the cluster status. Let me show a little bit about it's the cluster data structure. As we see, information stored inside of DB, and if we want to get idea of the leadership, we can use this command. It shows us the idea of the leadership. The cluster status we can get from ILB configuration because of I have configured to listen in the 7000 port inside of our proxy. And if I press F1, as we see PostgreSQL 3.0, it's a master. And we can find this line from the log output, yes. Just look at this line. I am leader with the log. If I will restart this node, we 
can find from log output postgres call one and two which one will be master yes postgres call one stay started to be like as master node and slave no action it's following the leadership if i will press f5 it's a master node and after some time when server will start yeah i will try to read log file output as we see it's waiting yet it's the k value stores because of uh, Patroni want to get information status of the master node and try to understand uh, what status will be for the PostgreSQL 3 node. When it's the key value stored after actually 15 seconds, 15 seconds, yes, yes, will start. Yes, as we see, it's a secondary node which following the leader. And actually, that's it. We can check our database status with the PSQL command. As we see, it's a database name, which uh, at the deployment time of the vagrant, it's created automatically. And our database works fine. I will write inside of the command link to download GitHub repository. Thank you for watching.